The school-to-prison pipeline refers to numerous ways in which school policies, rather than giving kids the tools they need to succeed, actually funnels kids, especially problem kids, towards the criminal justice system. The easiest example is suspension and expulsion. So if a kid doesn't know how to behave or know how to play nice, rather than teaching him how to behave or play nice, we send him back home where he didn't learn how to behave or play nice. The vast majority of the time, that means going back home where there is no supervision, which increases juvenile justice involvement, increases police contact, and increases criminal activity. Then we have a police presence in schools, which rather than dealing with behavioral issues internally, criminalizes behavior in schools. Then there are examples like the Baltimore school system that are doing amazing work to get away from this model. They're realizing that rather than suspending or expelling kids, we can actually give them special attention, give them the tools they need, and then they're much less likely to act out in the future, and especially less likely to become criminal justice involved.